guys welcome back to my channel today I will be reviewing this polygel nail enhancement kit by Jershon or Jershion I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce it but the packaging is really nice like a nice watercolor marble looking design and it comes with a bunch of goodies inside you get six poly gel colors you get clear white natural pink dark pink cover pink and bean red you also receive a top coat and a base coat and you get a nail file this is 100 grit to 180 grit and it actually works really really good along with that you also get a brush and scraper tool so it's a double-ended brush really really like the brush as well and this nice little card inside that just says like thank you for your order and then it has other information on it and then you also get some of these gold paper forms um, you can just use these by themselves to build the nails and then you also get some dual forms and honestly I really really like these dual forms so this is the brush and scraper tool when you take the caps off it just looks like that and that's what you get in your kit so here are some quick swatches this is natural pink and this one is a really light pink it's very pretty and then this is dark pink and this one just has a little more pigmentation to it but they kind of look similar this is clear and the clear one is just clear <laughs> and then we have the white the white is very opaque and then cover pink this is the color that I used on my nails um, it looks a little thinner and then we have bean red which is just darker I'm starting off by just applying some of the base coat on my natural nails I didn't really cut my nails that short maybe I should have but I didn't but I just applied this on all of my fingers and I did one coat and I let it cure for 30 seconds and this is the cover pink I took some off and I'm going to put it inside the dual form. It also helps if you go ahead and get all your sizes together that you're going to use. And I needed some more because this is a thumbnail so you want more. So again I only use rubbing alcohol. I use 70%. And you just want to smooth the poly gel out and mold it to cover the entire form up into the length that you desire. And it's better if you do thinner coats like don't make it too thick so pretty thin make sure you spread it out and cover the edges once your nail is all coated then go ahead and place that on your natural nail and pop it into your LED lamp or your UV lamp for at least 50 seconds um, you can care for longer if you want but I think 50 seconds is pretty good and then you should be able to easily pop the form off and it should be hard to the touch and it should have some good stability I'm just using my cutter to cut the length shorter I'm not really one for super long nails at least not starting off I like to gradually get them so I've done most of my nails at this point so this is what it looks like with the form so I do the same thing except I put the form on the underside and this really helps to clean up underneath the edge so it's just not a lot of product under your nail I used to have that issue so then after making sure that it's in the correct position I just use some alcohol to pat down any fallout from the form and then you put into your lamp to cure So this is what my finished nails look like without any polish. Let's talk about them. So these are my completed nails. I've actually done these on July 3rd. Today is actually the 8th. I had these on for about 5 days at this point. This is the hand that I use the actual entire everything that came with the kit. I use the paper forms and the clear dual forms this hand here I actually I think I used the paper forms and then I pretty much sculpted all of my nails on this hand I just chose to do that because I don't know I was tired of the form I was tired of the dual forms and for me sculpting just gives me more control I do have a crack on this hand here y'all can probably see it but it's right there so I'm guessing it was a little thin right there. Um, the quality of the product is really, really nice. I enjoy how easy it was to use. So in total, I've used two other types of poly gel, two different companies. And this one is very good. Um, I had no issues with it. I think the stickability is nice. Again, like I said, it has been a five days since I've had this on. 
um again i did have that crack but i think i had that crack like the first day <laughs> i do want to paint over these but i just wanted to show you all the product i haven't had any lifting i know that i could have done a better job around the cuticles but i think um for me i do prefer to sculpt rather than use the forms in the forms again i did this whole hand with forms and i think it turned out pretty good as well there are no issues with it i just personally prefer um, to sculpt so that's just me you can get this on amazon for about 50 dollars and honestly I know that seems a little pricey but you get six colors you get the top coat the base coat the nail file the brush that you need you get the forms and the paper forms I use this tube right here and there's still so much product in here and I have five of the colors I mean this kit is gonna last you a long time. If you're interested in purchasing a poly gel kit from Jershion, then I'll have their links below. Again, this is available on Amazon, so you can get it within a few days. And of course, again, it's about $50, but you will have this kit for a long time. You should at least be able to do 20 sets with this poly gel kit. I mean, for $50, think about it. People go to the nail salon and spend $50 on their nails like every two weeks. So this can be a really good investment if you're really trying to get into doing nails. Poly gel is one of the simplest methods to do. You're really only working with one product and you just need a little alcohol, which most people have on hand anyway. These are my nails with some polish on them, a little design. Thank y'all for watching and I'll see you all in my next one. Leave lots of comments down below. Bye!